Well hello and good morning guys. So today I'm back at Rossili again. Um, I've got a couple of hours to kill because the tire is still in. Um, hoping to go to Shipwreck Cove today and um, it's just just around the corner. Hopefully we'll get there and I'll catch you a little bit later. So very very nearly there, um, got a little bit impatient because of the ties and stuff but rolled up with some um, trousers, um, the crack, just round the corner now so gonna, you know, one more round the corner and we will be there. Okay, so I am now finally here at Shipwreck Cove. Um, the plan for the day is I want to try to climb uh, the AA called Vernoni. About a month ago, I went up, but I only had one day and I was super rushed. Um, I did actually record it, so what I'll do, I'll put the link in the description for that video. But hopefully I can, you know, go up and um, try to send them the route. What I am gonna do now is, uh, you know, try to warm up my fingers a little bit and uh, put a draw into the roots and um, relearn the moves and um, see how it goes and I might start red pointing it. Just want to say something, if you've never been here before, get some sort of mat like this. This is not sponsor, so get some mat like this because as you probably can see, sand just get everywhere here. So bring a decent mat, probably the waterproof one. That will be like really, really Talking save to your day. Pounds, oh boy, that was a pumpy little route there. Actually, it's not little, it's quite long, but here we go. Just went up, put the quick draws in, work out the moves. Basically, last time I fell off just, um, just after the crux. Now, the crux section is where you just got those big, massive, like handhold, laybacky sort of thing. And then you have to stand your right foot on this not very good hole and then do a big reach. It's all, almost like you got slotty but it's hidden. So you kind of go into a blind and then you come into the undercling, you pinch up really hard and you've got with the right hand after that you suit your feet out, left hand pinch, right hand, move the left hand over to this little like cosily pinchy thing and then stab the right hand to this two finger pocket. High foot, left hand, left hand again to this like really, really positive juggy hole. And um, I reckon that's probably where the end of the crux sequence and then clip there, then you right hand out right where you can choke up a little bit. The rest of the route is the hole is getting better and better as you go up from there onwards. It's just a case of managing your pump, I think. Um, the key for this route, I think for me, I just have to make sure I climb the bottom section super efficient, um, fast, hopefully, <laughs> and then um, get to the crux, rest there a little bit, and just blast my way through the top. So hopefully I can, I can do this.
Okay, what did he say? Push out, Tom. Kind of great. What? Why? Push out, go. No. You don't feel me. No. Oh. Oh. That's not too bad. I'll get used to this. Okay. Okay, so let's see how good you are. I want that man. Very nice. Don't you just love it when you work hard for something and uh, you work the roots, work the sequence, fall off it a month ago and come back, relearn the sequence and um, just send it at first red point. Very happy, very, very happy. All right, I think I'm gonna try um, air show next, I think. It's basically the root on the right of um, Benerni. Um, when I was cleaning Benerni and I look across, those all look amazing. Look very small crimp though. Yeah. A bit different from um, the one on the left. This one get AA+. You probably hear me say work the moves a lot. What that actually is, is essentially I go up onto the, um, the clams and um, just look for all the possible options, whether it's hand hole, foot hole, and um, identify which is best for me so you know for example i might need to go left hand first or right hand and brush them you know if necessary like i put some little tick on it um, obviously clean it off after you finish um, your clam so it, it doesn't leave white marks everywhere on the wall but that is basically what working the roots is oh other thing um, i extend the jaw as well because sometimes when you you know on your red pawn if the bolt a little bit too high then I often extend it so it's easier to um, to clip on, on the red point attempt so that's a handy little trick that I use oh. okay just got back down oh so nice to be back on the floor so no one up there air show just went up work out the moves work out the sequence feel very sustained very stained it's like two crocs probably like right in the middle of the root actually which is make it pretty perfect and then after the crux it's pretty sustained crimping side pull pocket the whole way up to the top um, it's a lot of little hand changes little precise footwork to um to get through the small holes. All of the hole feel very tiny and small, but when your body in the right position, then climb it fast, then hopefully, you know, should be able to um, get to the top.
I'm super tired now. So that didn't quite go to plan, but I think that went quite well. I managed to um, palm and then uh, just last moves under crops and then uh, I fell off. Just super tired though. I think it's going to be hard, I think, because even after you've done the crocs, um, the rest of the route you still really sustain on small holes and you still got some like probably like six, seven hard moves until you get into a like, really happy ground where you get some jugs where you're going to shake out. <sighs> anyway, thank you for tuning in and um, I will go make some dinner and maybe have some red wine, maybe gin and tonic as well. I will catch you on the next one.